Hi, my name is Judy Harvey. Recently I attended a um, symposium with uh, Centaur Biomechanics with a lady called Sharon May Davies. She's done a lot of work on dissection and one of the most interesting things in this presentation was what she considered was so essential for stabled horses that they learned to, that they use variable feeding positions when they're stabled. Horses in the wild will naturally eat grass from the ground and they will also browse from the hedgerows and get all sorts of nutritional benefits from browsing the hedgerows but also because they have to reach up and they have to fight for the food and tussle with the food it gives them um, a lot of neck play and they use different muscles in their necks and in their backs and then they're back down on the floor again eating off the ground stretching yet another lot of muscles. In our artificial domestic stable environment we take this away from the horse and also with a domesticated horse these days we have so many paddocks which are electric fenced or post and rail fenced where they don't actually get to the hedgerows so they don't get so many variable feeding positions. At this time of the year when the weather's been so atrocious um, our fields are completely sodden and so I was trying to find some ways of alternating the feeding positions for the horses. So what we thought did initially, which was fairly simple, was feed some hay off the ground, some in a net and some in a normal height manger. Uh, and then I thought, hang on a minute, I know about these, the Equimunch short nets, the small little bales of, uh, of, of hay produced by Equilibrium products. And I thought those could be really, really useful to, because we can hang them anywhere and give the horse a true variety and you'll also have to fight with the nets and make it difficult to pull the, pull the um, forage out of the net and uh, apart from relieving boredom we'll also encourage the horse to use their head and neck.